Hi, this is Paul from Super Deluxe Edition and today we're going to take a look at the recent suede best of, which is called Beautiful Ones 1992 to 2018. Now Demon Music have put this out, they've been reissuing suede since way back in 2011. There's been all sorts of album reissues, vinyl box sets, CD box sets, etc. And this is clearly a, a nice career summary. Suede are a great band, um, I really love, especially the early Suede records, Dogman Star, one of my favourite albums. So I'm quite pleased this is coming out, even though you know I've got most of what's on here. There's various versions, this is a four CD set, there's uh, a six LP set which we're going to take a look at in a minute, there was also a two LP and a two CD I believe. But the four CD set and the six LP vinyl version have 46 tracks, each same tracks. So these are, the, these are the most deluxe versions, these are the ones to go for really. Now it's not just a straightforward greatest hits, as you might expect with so many tracks. It delves into the albums, it takes a pretty close examination at the B-sides. But broadly speaking, the first two CDs on the four CD set are most, but not all, of the official UK singles. Stay Together, I should point out, is the long version. It's not the full length version. So it's the seven and a half, roughly, it's the seven minute 21, I think it is. Now, the original full length version was eight and a half minutes, I think. And when Demon first reissued Dogman Star in 2011, they, were, they got a little bit of criticism for putting the, an edit of the long version on there. When they subsequently reissued it again later on as a super deluxe set, then they actually used the full eight and a half minute version. For some reason we're back to the seven minute 21 version. It could be something to do with running times on the vinyl and keeping the CD consistent with the vinyl. It could be that the band have decided that they prefer the slightly shorter of the two long versions. Who knows? But anyway, I thought it's worth pointing that out because it's the kind of question that will come up. But the first two discs are the singles. As I say, it's not all, not every single single is, is represented. So for example, From A New Morning, Positivity isn't on here. That was actually the first single from that album. Um, but Obsessions is, which is interesting because Positivity was actually a much bigger hit. There's also no Attitude, which was a non-album single. It was on the first greatest hits that was called Singles. I actually quite like that song. Not sure why it's not on here. And then, I mean, it gets a bit more dubious what is a single and what isn't in the, in the later era. But uh, so I think that's kind of not really even worth discussing for the last couple of albums. But certainly positivity and attitude are the two chart hits, I suppose is the best way of putting it, that are missing because nothing else charted uh, in the, from the last few records. Anyway, so CD3 is fairly much um, B-sides and then at the end there's some album tracks from Dogman Star. In fact eight of the 12 tracks from Dogman Star feature on this full CD edition so you do get most of Dogman Star which is only fair because that's the best album. And then the fourth CD more B-sides um, and select album tracks. So I really like the compilation I think it's a good compilation. The packaging is very nice as well it's this Anyone that's been collecting Suede Deluxe Editions for the last few years will be familiar with this. It's the sort of book pack. So this will sit quite nicely amongst your other Suede Deluxe Editions. And the four CDs are inside these folio pages here like that. So the CDs come out like that, which I think is a reasonable way of storing them. I know not everyone likes that. And this book is full of images of memorabilia that clearly have been submitted by fans and maybe friends of the band. So it's quite an amusing look back at the paraphernalia that was around, sort of tickets, promotional condoms. That's, that's all very Frankie goes to Hollywood, isn't it? T-shirts, posters, etc. So it's quite nicely done. I don't really see much point in too much text in here talking about the albums because there's been so much of that with the individual reissues. So I think this is probably a, a good choice. And then all the details for the tracks at the back. The last two discs are there. Incidentally, Europe is my playground 
is the sci-fi lullabies version. It's not the original B-side version. That's another one to pick up on, along with Stay Together. That's the sticker, which I've nicely preserved at the back. Now there were 750 of these that were available with a signed print. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is the signed print that came with the CD, which is like an A4 sheet. Suede at the bottom, there are all the signatures. Simon, Richard, Neil, Matt and Brett. No Bernard, unfortunately. So that's the four CD version. Now let's take a look at the six LP vinyl. So the first thing you notice with this is a different treatment on the cover, the cover art. I think um, this looks really good. You just compare how, how the, the tones and the, of the images and the text differ. I don't think you could keep it identical, so I think they've done a sensible thing, different approaches for different formats. But this is a good image. I mean, the colors and the sepia kind of feel is slightly reminiscent of George Michael's Listen Without Prejudice, isn't it? But people didn't have their hands in there quite so much on that one. Same kind of gold finish, gold coloring going on. So say, as I say, it's the same number of tracks. There is no difference between the six LP and the four CD, so you're not missing out. Let's take the lid off and have a look. Right, so you'll see this is the limited edition version with the signed print as well. It's different because it's square and it's not an A4. So they have actually treated the vinyl differently from the CD set. But on this particular one, all I've got to say is, Brett, why don't you get a pen that actually works properly? There's been various signed things over the years. So you may be fed up with suede signatures, I don't know. But um, if you can get a hold of one, it's better to have them than not to have them. And then we've got six records here and they're all pressed on white vinyl, which look very nice. Let's take these out and have a look. So these are all printed inners. And there's the white vinyl. There was a 2LP clear vinyl version of this, which I know some of you ordered via the SDE shop. So this is a white vinyl version. And basically the, the pattern is on each record, you've got lyrics on this side and then you've got some of this same imagery used in the CD box on the other side. I don't see much point in showing you all the white vinyl records, just take my word for it, they are all white. Six LPs is, you know, it's a lot of vinyl, isn't it? To cover all the tracks, but you know, you don't have to buy the six LP version, you can get the cut down two LP version. So you pays your money, you takes your choice. Now, I don't know whether this audio is remastered or not. I don't think it is. They're probably just using whatever the latest mastering was. I have to be honest and say, I don't think Suede ever sounds that good anyway, especially the early records. They're very trebly and sort of sound great on a radio, but they're not exactly audio file recordings. So um, I think it's really neither here nor there as far as remastering goes on these ones. So and that's really it for the box content so these records these records all just go back in the box and the sign print I, I suppose what's good about this is you can keep the sign print in the box whereas the cd one unless you frame it or something it's just kicking around a little bit so that's the four cd best of and the six lp vinyl version thanks for watching the video if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to the sd youtube channel for more great physical music unboxed so thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time